Oh, hey there. Thanks for stopping by on this lesson where we are going to visually explore how to factor a binomial, that is the difference of two squares, sometimes referred to as dots. First of all, be aware that this strategy only applies in situations when both terms, whether they be values or variables, are perfect squares, and when the sign in between them is a minus sign, when it is subtraction, hence the word difference. So by definition, when you have a binomial of the form a squared minus b squared, you can factor it as a plus b times a minus b. So using this general definition, let's see why it actually works out. We can do this through double distribution, where we have a times a is equal to a squared. a times negative b is negative ab. b times a is just ab. And b times negative b is minus b squared. Notice here that our middle terms, negative ab plus ab, cancel each other out. And what we are left with is a squared minus b squared, which is again what we started with. So all that we're actually doing here is taking the first term and taking the square root of it. So a squared becomes a, since the square root of a squared is a. And then the second term, b squared, again, taking the square root of it. Square root of b squared is just b. And then we have alternating signs in between. One factor has a plus sign in the middle. The other factor has a minus sign. So now, for example, if we want to use this method to factor x squared minus 49. And again, this is a difference of two squares, since x squared and 49 are both perfect squares. So all we have to do is first take the square root of x squared, which is just x, since x times x is x squared, and the square root of 49, which is just 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. And now our factors are x plus 7, x minus 7, and we're done. Here's another example. Let's factor 9y to the fourth minus 100. Now again, this is a difference of two squares. We know that 9 is a perfect square, and we'll explore in a second why 9 to the fourth is also a perfect square. And finally, we know that 100 is a perfect square as well. So if we want to factor this, we have our alternating signs in our basic format, and now we want the square root of 9y to the fourth. The square root of 9 is just 3. That's easy. Now, what about y to the 4th? We have to find something that we can multiply by itself to get us y to the 4th. And we can achieve that by multiplying 9 squared by 9 squared. Remember, we add the exponents when the base is the same, and 2 plus 2 equals 4. So the square root of y to the 4th is just y squared. And now we add the first term for both factors. The second term is super easy since the square root of 100 is just equal to 10. And now we have our factors, and again, we are done. <laughs> cool. So that's all there is to it for a difference of two squares. The key here is being able to recognize it so that when you see it, you know to apply this strategy, and you're good. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks again for stopping by. All right, so that's it for that lesson. Hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We add new lessons every week. We don't want you to miss out. And also, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. We respond to every single comment. I promise you will respond, even the mean ones. Okay, but let's just try to keep it nice. Those ones are always a lot more fun to read. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.